It's so weird. Oh, Donnie! <laughs> Got the big one. Oh my gosh, that one's sick. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. What's up, guys? It's another beautiful day here at the Freedom Factory. We got a whole bunch of good stuff for you today, right now. Got my boy neighbor warming up. And uh, he's doing a little heat cycle on it. I'm gonna be loading this thing in the trailer today because it is going up to the shop. When I jumped the car, I actually broke the mounts on the fuel cell. Uh, we have some wiring that we need to replace from some of the fiery burnouts this car has done. We've been having this uh, fuel pressure issue, so we're gonna get that fixed. And, uh, and then lastly, we're gonna be adding a thing that uh, sprays water on the radiator so when this thing gets hot while drifting, it'll uh, cool it down faster. But it's also idling high, it needs a bunch of stuff tweaked, so we're gonna load that thing in the trailer. So guys, we got a two post lift being delivered today from Benpack and we're getting it installed in the shop just so we got a spot for, you know, working on the cars, it's gonna go Kind of over there, we're gonna put it on a diagonal. And then we got tire machines too. So we got tire machines so that we can change tires down here instead of having to go up to the shop, you know, come here, take the wheels off neighbor, take them to the shop up north, which is an hour away, and then come back. So we got a tire machine, which will be fun, nice to have. And uh, we got a lot of cool stuff planned today. We're gonna let it rip. Jams, how you doing today, brother? It's Friday. We're here at the Freedom Factory. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Guys, our goal for the day, dude, we got the electrician here. He's working on stuff. I don't know where he's at. I think he actually went over to the other side to assess the lift situation. So, guys, James and I are filming two videos today. Well, we'll you'll see what the second one is tomorrow. But today, we plan on getting out the jaws of life that came with the track and testing it for the very first time. And it also came with a spreader for, I don't know, what do you use the spreader for? So like a car crushes, yeah, and you need to open it to get to like the cage to exactly, yeah, jam it in them. And then we got to test it on one of the cars. Yeah. Luckily, we have a few total Crown Vicks on our hands, boys. So we're gonna go over here to the shop where I'm pretty sure we've got at least one of the components we need. This is a like legit Jaws of Life. I think it's a Hearst brand Jaws of Life. Came with the track. I've I've never really showed it because I've been waiting for this day where we can uh, work on it. I'm sure you guys have seen it in the background of videos though. There we go. It's dark in here, man. It's a little creepy back here. There was a skunk in here the other day. Was there? Yes, dude, Alec almost got skunk. Okay, here, here, this is what we're dealing with. Let's pop this unit open. Oh, freaking lizard jumped on me, dude, golly. This baby lizard just landed on me. Take it easy, guy. Better uh, than a skunk. For real. All right, what do we got here? That's the hydraulic pump. No. That's a spreader. I think the pump is over on the other side. The motor. What the hell is this thing? Sure that's just like a finger pincher 9000. It looks like some sort of winch. You know, like that's yeah, a that, carrier for. Yeah, that's a. Okay, that might be unrelated to this pile of goodness. Dude, this thing looks like a beast, dude. Oh yeah, okay, that's, whoa. That's, that's another spreader. Oh, okay. These are three pieces right here. So this thing you stick like in between. Yeah, in between something. Oh, it's damn. Like, it opens it up. That unit probably rips. Okay, so what, what do you get, the handle here? Oh, look at that, it's like a, it's like a damn dirt bike. Okay, this is our big spreader. Looks like you push the button down here maybe? that work Gee, oh oh it looks like this now look you push that that way or that way that's just for mounting it you grab it by there and you just jam it in there and then hold oh. on and then what do we got there another spreader yeah it's another spreader that like attachments go on okay what do you think this cost when it was new dude yeah, I, I know they're not cheap i know they're definitely not cheap i think these are all hers all right well we got to get these loaded up in a vehicle we're going to take them to the other side where we have our mixed fuel and then the jaws of life is on the other side and the pump for them that it's required. So we'll uh, we'll shoot over there and see what we got going. But guys, Alec has cleaned this place up quite a bit. It looks really good. Look at that little number board. 
James, when are we gonna find a day to fire up the motorcycle, dude? The GS1000. It's not one the day to fire it up. It's one the day to turn into a cafe racer. Cafe racer. That takes me back thinking about that. Yeah, dude. That's like a. <laughs> that's your new trial bike, dude. That's that's a sought after bike to turn into a cafe racer. Well, let's freaking make it happen. And then we do it, and then we jump stuff with it. You could jump the whole park like uh, Robbie Knievel. They'd sign me up. <laughs> he did what, 28 cars, 29? Yeah. 32 or bust. 32 or bust. Guys, this thing is a solid 70 pounds. <laughs> it is a unit. I'm doing the whole sideways like walk thing. Goodness gracious. You might get more hurt if you drop this off your foot than if you're stuck <laughs> in a car. Drop, drop it on your foot. But we want to have this stuff up and running. In case we ever need it. We usually hire the motorsports rescue guys to come out, but in case something else random happens, it's good to know it all works. <laughs> Lots of paint. Easy on the paint. Good news that they had these like at least uh looped, so we know there's no crap in the system. Alright, James, back yonder. Yeah. Where we got the goods, brother. Okay, here we go. Jaws of life. Rescue tool. It's looped up, dude. Is that what it makes? It's kind of like a. Th -th 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 Look at that, dude. Absolutely gorgeous. And then we got this. That's where she plugs in. But we don't have the extension cord. Oh, wait. The hoses. Unless this is the hose right here. No, that ain't it. No, it should be like hydraulic hose. Which is fun because just for testing it, we can just put this. Do it right next to it. Yeah, okay. We got it. We we'll have like about three foot of run. All right, let's grab a little engine. That is a unit. Put that right All on. this stuff works too. We can get hydraulic hoses and eggs. And, you know, we got the crimper now, so we just crimp them up. Yeah, we can make our own yeah, creaking lines. Oh. They might, they honestly might be on the other side too. I've never yeah, looked. All right. That's an absolute unit, dude. Ready to try this That's thing awesome. out? Yeah, dude. We Let's got the. Do we have at least one totaled Crown Vic? We could try it on the cage Absolutely. inside. <laughs> that is gnarly. It's not that sharp, but I don't think it needs to be crazy sharp. I think it just is so much blunt force. Yeah. Just rip right through it. It's like a big pair of scissors. Exactly. I'm guessing this thing runs on mix, huh? Oh, oh no, it's got an oil thing right here. Yeah. So it's four stroke. Good thing, too, this tank is empty so chances of there being some varnish fuel in the carburetor are a little less light good than it being left full they might actually taking care of this being that it's an important recipe tool there's a good chance they did take care yeah. of it yeah what do we got there the air filters nice and clean mm, fire me up spark plug's fairly new looking the wire looks good a couple years old the wire is solid dude everything seems real solid we need some normal 93, Alec. Choke's not all that gummed up. That's a good sign. Pull it out. We're good. Oh, okay. the well, it's in there's clean too. So the only thing is, is there like a reservoir for the? Yeah, this down here. Oh, okay. This is like a. Oh wow, that's the turn it on. And off. Okay. Yeah. That might just be so it doesn't leak out when you disconnect. Hold yeah. Up. Yeah, it's probably how you feel. I'm sure it's full. I mean, if it did it feel yeah, extra no, heavy was, on the way over? It was making a slosh and the gas tank's empty, so there's... Okay. Oh, snap. It's on, it's not locked up. Hey, I did find another pair of there. Another what? Of, uh, I don't know if they're spreaders or... Of jaws? Oh, yeah. bring them out. Okay. Fire me up. I think, I, wait, double check that. Okay, this is number three. You never know. <laughs> it's ignite. <laughs> Gosh dang. Right, let's get an oil check. About half full. Dude, I'll take it. It's so weird. Oh, Donnie! <laughs> Got the big one. Oh my gosh, that one's sick. What? That's a beast. Yeah. Holy crap. Get some 93 pound. I'm glad you found that. <laughs> This one's way cooler than that one. Yeah, that's big. Oh my gosh. That is awesome. Alright, cool. 
Yeah, we got to a safety uh, strip to hit tight on it so, so they could tie it over their shoulder. Didn't fly out of the truck, maybe. <laughs> All right, so we got to get some 93 for this thing. Hopefully it runs, dude, because otherwise we can't test these tools unless we have our pump up on board. Gas her up, brother. Oh, yes, you get to use one of these ones. Let's watch James struggle for the next five minutes while he uses a government regulated. Oh, how'd you do that? Because I'm a dad. Wow. <laughs> Oh, he pressed it on the thing. It's got this check valve thing here. Open that up. Do we want this closed or open? Or I want to say it was probably in the closed position. Should yeah. we hook a tool up? Oh, pressure and dump. This is dump. Okay, leave it in dump then. So it's yes, just... so there's no pressure. <laughs> got the choke. We definitely on. don't want to open this while it's on, I don't think. Do you have a can of brake clean just in case we need it? Yeah, we got brake clean. Oh! <laughs> Alright, shut it off, shut it off. <laughs> Everything here, dude. I wasn't even on the friggin' thing, I was looking at Alex and it just started right up. Look at that! Uh, effortlessly started on the first pull. That is so awesome. All we did is put gas in. That's how these have to be though, because if it's a rescue tool, you don't want to be sitting there going, oh, 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 oh. Billy, I got you! <laughs> oh, <laughs> stay the, there! You pull it 30 times, a string, string breaks, you can't cut them <laughs> out of the car. <laughs> Dude, no, we, that's crazy. Alright, All right, let's hook a brand tool up! Yeah, grab a... Uh, let's do it on the ground over there so I can cut that piece of Let me just put this filter back on. And yeah, we don't need that brake clean anymore. It's right there. Dude, no, he, I was literally like, oh yeah, we got brake clean. He just, one pole fires right up. It didn't even like hesitate to start. It literally halfway it's through smooth, that pole dude. and just went da, 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 da. It is smooth. Yeah. Oh man, fire me up. There she goes. Oh. This is a short distance edition. Real short. So like, someone's gonna have to carry the. Someone's gotta carry this thing, yeah. Make sure you stay lined up this one because you know Thank you. Sweet honey barbecue, brother. Fire it up. Okay. Fire me up! Oh! The power! Let's see it. You got a little bit of fluid. Oh, look at it! Dang! That is so sick! Dang! Oh my god! Dang! Oh, that is sick. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, yeah. should I go get the other ones? Well, we already got them. We got them right here. So oh. We'll use the spreader, but we need, we need to find a car to sacrifice. I think Victor's. Yeah. Is really well Victor's is so toast. Freaking worked so perfect. What Looks machine. pretty clean too. What a machine. That's what you gotta loop these back together. Yeah, I love one with you know previous people take care of the equipment that they have at hand. You know. I would like to be those people. You know. I think we should take care of all our stuff here. Up. I'm more interested in this one. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> That's pretty thick. No, that's roll bar. This is roll bar too. Oh yeah, there's some roll bar right there. That's the true test right there.
pass off in between starts, would it? Well, there's no point in screwing up a cage on a car. That thing went through that like absolute butter. Mm -hmm. It's like 090 wall DOM tubing. That stuff was thick and it literally just cut right through it. Like butter. Like it wasn't even trying. All right, so what are we going to spread? You spread the door. So we can. This one got ducky. We need to clean that unit later. Do you have a car that runs? You just want to drive a car up here? Does Victor's car still drive? I would say, yeah. Okay, I know it started up. I'll bring it over here real quick. Yeah, drive it over here. Okay. A little cloud. Get the love bugs away. Bad, dude. Jeez, I'm surprised he's he's all right after that slam, James. Yeah, hey James, what happened to this car, James? You know? <laughs> yeah, I, I drove into that door as you can see my paint's right there. <laughs> That's literally James' paint on the side. He yeah, spun going, Victor out, and Victor hit the freaking entrance. I was going for the outside pass, and I was ready to turn left, and he wasn't ready to turn left, and he felt me there, and he kind of like turned into me. So I was like, you know what? Turn into him. <laughs> and this is and was the are, result. Does the hood last still work? Oh, we can spray the hood last still work. <laughs> it's a Crown Victoria, dude. It's so cool using all that stuff. Remember learning about Jaws life when you were a kid? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Firefighters use that? Oh, now the, the, the new ones are all battery powered, like Milwaukee yeah. battery powered. Just so you don't have to go through the struggle if it doesn't start. Come on, man. <laughs> we're going to rescue it. I didn't know it good, went that high. The only issue I see is the throttle like dies off. Well, it's like real, like real it sensitive. vibrates and then rolls down. Right, guys well there you have it the freedom factory's jaws of life and spreader works flawlessly flawless flawless dude i mean it's like it works so good so uh it does just need like a couple little things but we can get that fixed up this is like a backup unit because we always hire in the motorsports rescue team and they have battery powered ones and i think they have three or four in that truck i mean if one of those fails we have this or if you know we're here by ourselves doing something one day we just need it it's definitely good to have and know that it works, but we need to get the hoses for it and we need to clean everything up and put it away nicely and just make sure we keep it serviced. I'm sure it could probably use an oil change just because. Yeah, I mean, oil change, hydraulic fluid. I mean, the hydraulic fluid, and it looks great. It's clean as can be, but just to change it. Yeah. You know, just so it's fresh and we know it's freaking fluid. That's so like cool, that. man. Yeah. All right. That's an awesome piece. Yeah, dude. Thanks to Victor for letting us use his Freedom 500 car. <laughs> All right, guys, we got our Jaws of Life working. Pretty fun getting to try that out. I mean, you learn about them when you're a kid, and you're like, dang, uh, it'd be so cool to use those one day. We just got to do it. I can't believe how easy it can just tear through metal. It's so cool, but uh, I guess it's designed to do that. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching Do It For Dale. We'll freaking see you later.